Uh, good morning, Walk Watchers. Hello. Uh, or as we say here in Ulster, what about you? You doing all right? Roughly translated, how are you? Are you keeping well? Uh, today I'm uh, back at the Ott Car Park where Stevie Auld and I started our walk for Doan. Um, but I'm not going to leave Doan today. I'm going to walk up the track again to the wall and then uh, instead of going over into the valley and off towards uh, Doan, I'm going to head up to the left towards Loch Shanna, Sleeve Loch Shanna, and then over to Meal Beg and over to Meal Moor and eventually and hopefully <laughs> uh, over to Berna. Um, it's an absolutely beautiful day today, as you can see the lovely blue skies behind me, um, and I'm by myself. On my own, pretending he's beside me. There's nobody with me today, <laughs> thankfully, singing like that. Uh, but it should be good crack. Uh, I'm looking forward to the walk. It's probably been my longest walk, I think, that I've done to date. Uh, on the videos but uh, thank you for being with me on this journey thank you for watching the, the videos stay with me uh, any comments put them in the comments below um, and we'll see how we get on Look how full our car park is today. It is jam packed already. Uh, I'm here about uh, 10 to 9 and I'm parked away down the hill, so uh, yeah, a busy day in the mornings again. So this is the trail that leads out of Ott Car Park up into the, the hills. But just watch yourself because some of these boulders on the trail are, are quite big and you can go over on your ankles. Yeah. So just watch yourself. This is where the path ends. And uh, we're heading up that mountain there to the left, which is uh, Sleeve Lakshana. Um, straight ahead of us is the Morn Wall and the style that it's over. So we're aiming for that. Lovely low sun, which is still quite warm, to be very honest. And the colours are starting to turn in the grasses. And... Okay. Oh. Yes, look at that. So that's doing straight ahead of us, spinning out to our right. on beyond and there laying down below us is Loch Shanna and Silent Valley look at that isn't that beautiful we bit cloudy Now, as soon as you come up with the style, turn left, head up the Moran Wall there, and you're heading up Sleeve Loch Shanna. And indeed, there is the cairn at the top at 619 metres. And you have some super views here out over Loch Shanna itself, even towards Doan and way beyond that Sleeve Binion. What do you see? Look at that. So we're not going to spend too much time up here in this walk because we're aiming for that next peak there in the ridge which is Sleeve Meal Beg. We're going to follow the Moran Wall all the way down into the, the saddle between the two mountains and again straight on up the other side. Now Sleeve Meal Beg isn't that overly complicated. Uh, it's I suppose a wee bit of an effort after you've walked Sleeve Loch Shanna uh, but you're heading straight all the way to the top. The cairn, however, is on the other side of the wall, so you are going to need to climb over it. Mm -hmm. 
and just over the wall is the cairn for slave meal bag, 708 metres. Now, as you can see it's starting to get a bit misty and cloudy here and I'm not going to hang about, I'm going to head straight down the Mourne Wall here again on this side uh, for a bit and then I'm going to cross over because I'm heading for Meal Moor next. over the stile here at the bottom between the two mountains and head up Slave Moor and actually you can see Berna over there on the right hand side. So as you see Meal Moor started off a bit rocky but it's more grassy and easy going now. I'm going to head up into that top left quarter there where the two walls cross because the cairn is just ahead and there it is Slave Meal Moor at 704 metres and it's right next door to Slave Burna so you get beautiful views across. but it's moving pretty fast, you can see as it sort of flips across here and there is blue skies out there beyond the clouds so uh, I'll come off the main moor here now and head towards Berna Now, as we look across the Berna, what you're looking at there are the slabs and those attract uh, lots of climbers. Um, that valley down below us is Pulafuka, um, or the Pool of the Puck. And pucks in Irish or Celtic mythology are uh, like sprites or spirits, and um, they're kind of well known for shape shifting. So I'll be speaking to nobody down in that valley, just in case. <laughs> But yeah, um, the slabs are, are a great uh, climbing venue. So I don't know, I mean, I, I'm not into climbing, um, but I have lots of friends who are into climbing. Uh, so I must double check with them and see if they're uh, scary or not. They look scary to me. Okay, question everybody. Um, does your nose run when you're walking up a mountain? I have to edit out all the sniffs that I make as I'm going up the mountains otherwise it would be the most disgusting video ever <laughs> It is true though, I mean this is an essential part of my kit to carry a packet of tissues Here's Polifuka looking down towards Trassy Track and there are those burner slabs so you see we're still following the Mourne Wall there, and now we're starting Sleeve Burner for real. This is a really steep slope. So half an hour ago, I was up there on Sleeve Main Moor, and now I've come down and I'm on my way up there, and somewhere up there is Burner. Okay, no more chat, keep walking. So here then is the summit tour of Sleeve Burn at 739 metres and looking across to the north tour of Sleeve Burn as well after that really gruelling steep ascent up the Mourne Wall. There are other ways to do it but this was much more exciting.
Hello, Rock Watchers, and welcome to the top of Schlieperna. Uh, I'm just sitting off the top of the summit tour here after that <laughs> big walk up of the, the, the side of the, the Moorn Wall. Um, but as you saw, we came across from Odd Car Park on the Sleeve Loch Shanna, up on the Sleeve Meal Moor uh, via Meal Beg, and then up onto Burna itself. Now, the nice thing is that the Moorn Wall goes right along the top of Sleeve Burna, so I'm going to go right out to the North Tor. Um, and see what uh, I can see from that side. But look at this view, isn't it stunning? Uh, so I'm sure that there's more views out the other side. I'm gonna go and have a nosy. And then I'm gonna drop back off here to that path that I showed you that goes round the bottom of Meal Beg and back out to the saddle just there at uh, Doan and back down to Odd Car Park. So I can't wait to get uh, back down and onto that trail. But it's one of those great uh, challenge walks that really encourages you to get your boots on, get outside and go exploring. Just make sure you've got your route well planned uh, because you saw there, I mean, my route brings me up uh, quite a steep slope there at, that, uh, at the wall. Um, and I knew that the contours were quite close together on the map and it was going to be a bit of a tough climb and it, and it certainly was. But um, yeah, it encourages you to get outside and, and get active and get going. Anywho, here come the stats. Uh, uh, I hope you've enjoyed the walk. If you have, please give us a wee like and uh, certainly subscribe uh, for the um, for the channel and, and take part in the conversation. Comment down below. Uh, I do love a good chat, so uh, certainly message me or you can DM me on the uh, on the Insta page or whatever you fancy. Um, the Insta page. How old am I on Insta? On Instagram? Uh, whatever it is. Uh, I'm old, you know. Um, so anyway, uh, give us a wee like and a wee subscribe. Here come the stats now. So Sleeve Berna then sits in the Moorn range of mountains at a height of 739 metres. It took me approximately 3 hours roughly to walk to the top, a total walking time of 4 hours and 12 minutes. 22,787 steps at a distance of 14.2 kilometers at an average pace of somewhere around 17.7 minutes per kilometer. It was clear, it was 12 degrees, I was by myself and I parked the van on struts regarding tech on the road just down from Mott Car Park on what three words? Okay, so let's hit the trail home then. Follow the Moorham Wall from the North Tor right across the Summit Tor. And then once we get to the top there, we're turning right and we're heading down the, the wall again, back down into the saddle between the two mountains, between Berna and Milmore. And then when we get down here, we're turning left and we're gonna skirt along Milmore, Milbeg, Sleeve Loch Shanna, until we reach that style, which takes us back down to the car park. Look at Doan. The silver of the Irish Sea out there too. Absolutely beautiful. Binion looking pretty imposing today. With Ben Crumb in the foreground there. So there's a wee stream here that we need to cross. <clears throat> and then we're now heading around the bottom of the foot of Sleeve Mail Bag. Oh, 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 oh. Now I got quite excited there because I it was quite lucky to see a common lizard, a viperous lizard. And you can see me struggling with the camera here, trying to get some shots, but unfortunately it got away from me. Lucky because they're usually going into hibernation around September, October time. So that's it. Back across the last style and back down the track to the car park. Now a quick hello to David, George and Angela, walk watchers who stopped me to say hiya uh, as they climb sleeve muck. Thanks for stopping and saying hi guys. It was lovely to meet you and I hope you had a really good walk. So here's our trail up sleeve Loch Shanna and sleeve Meal Beg. Down the other side then and up Meal Moor. And then all the way down and up onto the top of Sleeve Burner, right out to the North Tor there, which was lovely to have lunch at. 
back down the wall, along the foot of the mountains, and back up on over the stile and down to Odd Car Park. This has been the Walk Watchers Walk of Sleeve Burna. Why don't you get your boots on, go outside and go exploring. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you again next time. Bye.